We're back. And now in this segment, we're talking about Google. Google, now, many of you don't know about the Chromebook. Chromebook was Google's or is Google's cheap. I don't, I don't want to, technically it's a laptop because it fits on top of your lap. That's what really a laptop, where the name came from because it fit on top of your lap. So technically it is a laptop. However, it is really an internet browser. It doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any uh, um, Word or Office or any kind of, any kind of um, software features like that that would be functional. It doesn't have an optical drive or anything like that. It's basically the, the Chromebook uses Google's Chrome browser and the um, uh, Chrome OS is what it uses on the Chromebook. So that's why these things sell for about $199. Uh, now, uh, Google hasn't really sold a lot of the Chromebooks. Now, you know, they haven't sold a lot of the Chromebooks, but um, now they're trying to release it in other markets. So Google... Google sure isn't giving up on the Chromebook initiative, even though it's not clear that the company's Chrome OS-based laptops are selling all that well. I mean, um, I don't know anyone that has bought a Chromebook or that's even interested uh, in a Chromebook. And Google, uh, uh, th this week, they announced that it's expanding its brick-and-mortar retail efforts of the Chromebooks through partnerships with Walmart and Staples. Now, over 1,500 Staples will feature them starting this weekend coming up, and about 2,800 Walmart stores will carry Chromebooks later this summer in total. Google says this will triple the number of stores that carry its Chromebooks and bring the total number to 6,600 stores around the world. Walmart, it seems, will only make the cheapest Chromebook, the 199 Acer Chromebook, um, available on its store shelves. Those staples will feature a mix of Chromebooks from Acer, HP, and Samsung, and will also make them available online. The more expensive Pixel, um, Google's high-end Chromebook, won't be available at any retailers uh, anytime soon, it seems. The company also announced that uh, select Office Depots, Office Max, Fry's, Tiger Direct locations will begin selling Chromebooks in the coming months. Previously, only Amazon and Best Buy, as I mentioned earlier, uh, carry the Google laptops. Now, um, let, me, l let me, before we, we get into this thing here, let me just uh, give you that warning that when you see, because a part of the reason I think Google is trying to expand is because, you know, at Best Buy, um, Best Buy is, a, is, is more of a niche store, you know, because it's an electronic store. Walmart is more general, you know, everyone goes there for all kinds of different reasons. You go into their section and you look and you see, oh man, um, they have, you know, it looks like a laptop because it looks just like it's here. And you see my laptop here, you see it at $1,000. And then next to it, you see a Chromebook, $199. You're like, oh man, $199 I can get a laptop for $199? It's technical laptop, meaning it fits on your lap, on the top of your lap. That's all it has in common with what you see in front of me right here. It is really a web browser. That's what it is with a keyboard. That's why it's $199. So don't go into Walmart and get fooled and think you're getting a full-blown laptop for $199. You're not. You're getting a web browser with a keyboard. It doesn't have any kind of production software on it. There is no Windows or, or Microsoft Office or, you know, when you click the accessories in, in, in Windows that? computers. Say it again. Can you load those software on it's just, a, it's just an internet browser. So I don't know if they give it the ability to load those softwares on it. Um, it is a Google, so you, from Google Play Store, I'm sure you could download um, a few things. But it's, it's like a tablet. Let's put it that way. It's like a tablet with a keyboard. That's all it is. So, right. so potentially. potentially you can, but the memory that it has and stuff like that, you really don't want to bog it down with those heavy programs, you know. So I, don't, I just don't want people to think when they go in Walmart and they see it sitting next to a laptop, they look at it and think, man, $199, you know, so I, I got to get this. And they rush, hey, I'll take that. And they go home thinking that they have a full-fledged laptop and all you have is really a web browser. That's really what it is. And matter of fact, it uses the Chrome operating system. So if you're not familiar with the Chrome operating system, that's going to be a little, it's not Windows, it's not Android, it's the Chrome operating system. So you have Chrome web browser, Chrome operating system. I don't even know if it will allow you to download, like if you like um, Firefox or you like Opera or you like IE or anything Where like that. We have 
yeah. only have Chrome. So that's why it's called Chromebook. Is, is, it, is it an hybrid of the Android somehow? No, uh, it, it, it's separate. It, yeah, it's totally separate from the Android. Google wanted to make that sure that the Chromebooks would not be, um, how do you put it, mixed up in the Android world. So they made their Chromebooks totally separate from their Android market. So I'm just saying that so everyone out there understands what you're getting. So if you decide to get it, know that you're getting a web browser that to me is not even as functional as a tablet. But it can be a tablet replacement if you're looking for something with a keyboard and you're saying, man, I, I can get this thing with a keyboard. You know? But just be aware, Walmarts are going to start carrying it, Staples, and you're going to get um, um, different um, retailers like um, uh, Tiger Direct, um, uh, Fry's, Office Max, Office Depot, they're all going to be selling Chromebooks to a degree. But just understand that this is not, it, Chromebooks haven't been selling well. The reason is because they offer no real functionality and people are not used to the Chrome operating system. But Google has deep pockets. So in having their deep pockets, they can now um, uh, get this thing to other retailers like the Office Maxes, like the um, Tiger Directs. But right now, it's going to start shipping this weekend at Walmarts and Staples. You can go and pick it up this weekend if you so choose at those, at those locations. And they start at $199. Um, uh, and it goes up from there, not too expensive, but the cheapest Chromebook is $199. And you can get a Google Nexus for $199, but this comes with a dedicated keyboard. But with, um, um, with uh, Google, the Nexus, you have you know, the Chrome browser in there, but you could also download other browsers as they're in the Google Play Store and stuff like that. Now, this Chromebook um, you know, is basically, like I said, it's basically a web browser. So it has decent battery life, you know, and stuff like that. But it's not a full-fledged laptop. So does that mean that um, Google is, uh, you know, they're, they're on top? No. It doesn't mean that. All it means is that I think Google is trying to, you know, they, they don't want to give up on their Chromebooks and they're trying their last-ditch effort to get it into the hands of consumers. So they're thinking that if they can get this thing, in especially places like Walmart, where people are always looking for bargains and stuff like that, there's a chance that many people are going to buy a Chromebook thinking it's a laptop. And, uh, you know, this could be one way Google gets sales. But just so you know, if you're watching Tech Post, you know that this is not a full-fledged laptop. It's more like a tablet than it is a laptop. So this is what's happening right here. And uh, Google is also, they're also expanding their availability of Chromebooks internationally as well. Uh, in the UK, for example, 116 Tesco stores are now selling Chromebooks in the Netherlands uh, um, and the um, uh, um, different companies in the Netherlands are going to carry them. Um, uh, stores uh, will get their Chromebook displays. Um, Google is also adding partners in Australia, um, Sweden uh, and other countries like that. So Google is really making a big push for this Chromebook. And for someone who just needs to go on the web, 199 with a keyboard, you know, no hassle, no fuss. You have the Google Play Store still, so you can still download different apps and whatnot. But, you know, the memory and so forth is not, you really don't want to bog it down with a lot of, um, with a lot of uh, um, um, heavy programs and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is something that could, if you get the higher end Chromebooks, you know, that cost more, you know, 399 stuff like that, then it might be more worth your while to um, download some really good apps. But the cheap ones, the 199 stuff like that, you know, you really just want to use that for web browsing. So just be aware that Chromebooks are out there now and, you know, web browsing uh, laptops, you know, they fit on your lap, but they're not uh, uh, the traditional laptop, but you can get it right here. I mean, uh, you, you know, not right here, but you can get it uh, starting this weekend at Walmarts and at Staples. So for those of you that are out there and you're saying, man, you know, we got to get this thing, then you're right online because this thing is coming out, you know. So right now we're talking about, and we're going to talk about this into the break and then coming up um, um, after the break. For those of you that are XCON fans, now XCON, they released a game, uh, that was a game that was also released, this is a PC game, but it was also released on the uh, PS3. Uh, uh, and Xbox 360, and it, it did rather well, you know. But um, if you 
are um, an XCOM fan, the enemy unknown is priced at $13.99, $13.99, and it's on iOS. For those of you that have played it on the Windows machines before, and those of you that have played it on the uh, PS3 and Xbox 360, well, XCOM Enemy Unknown for $13.99 is, on, is coming to iOS this week. You know? So, the PC and console uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown um, um, uh, has already happened, and now the iOS, people of you, those of you that are iOS diehard fans and you just would not buy anything else, you're finally going to get this game as well. The higher than usual price tag, because you know, um, you know games are not normally that expensive on, in the app store, but the higher than usual price tag reflects the fact that the mobile version is a close approximation to its bigger brothers uh, and will, with all of the game's single player levels, surviving intact. And I mean, so th this is going to be a huge download. So expect this thing to take up a little time. Now the multiplayer mode will be added after the launch as a part of a free update to the game. So it's not coming with the multiplayer right away, but it's going to be a part of a free update according to um, uh, publisher 2K who uh, publishes the game. The new features include um, the game center, iCloud support, touch optimized controls, and XCOM will also be a universal app so you can play on iPhone, iPod, iPad, all of, the, uh, all of your i uh, devices. You're going to be able to play on it, not the iWatch, if you were to get the iWatch, forget about that. But iPhone, iPod, um, iPad, it's going to be a universal app for iOS, so you don't have to re-download it or, 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 or any kind of special thing. You're going to be able to play it on all your various devices if you have it. And you'll be able to play the game on the iPad 2, 3, 4, iPad mini, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and the fifth generation of iPod Touch. So if you, if you, as long as you have any one of those or a combination of those, you're going to be able to play it on uh, any of those um, um, situations. Now, uh, we have a, a little uh, video to show you of, for those of you that haven't, you haven't seen XCOM before, but we're going, to, we're going to do that after the break. You know what I'm saying? Right after the break, we're going to come right back in and show you that video because, um, you know, it, it, it's not lengthy, but, you know, we don't want to have to break it in the middle. So we're going to um, come after the break and show you that. But for those of you that have been wanting XCON, because XCON is a, I mean, this game is all about strategy. It's all about defeating the enemy, not just through overwhelming numbers, you know, but defeating them in terms of strategic, how you decide to use the resources of your planet. It's not just, well, you know, let me do an army, but the world is still going on. No, you have to use and know how to use use and uh, use properly the resources of the entire planet. Resources include people, it includes food, fuel, everything in order to get the most out of your planet to defend the planet against uh, uh, um, oncoming alien threat. I mean, it's really a masterful uh, game that really can bring you immersively into it. And so that's why you have this $13.99 price tag in the iOS. And then, of course, you know, Apple always has a little higher. Uh, more expensive apps, but this game comes with uh, uh, all of the single player player levels. With all the single player levels of the game has been ported over into this mobile version. So that to me is huge. That's huge to get all, uh, uh, all of that information into the mobile space. The only problem is it's going to be a fairly big download. So if you're downloading it, you know, uh, you know, d don't you know, think to play it for a little while because you know it's going to have to download. Uh, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and take a break uh, right now. But coming up after the break, we're going to show you that video right here on Tech Pulse. So don't don't move. 